woman from New South Wales has died after taking the AstraZeneca vaccine. An 18-year-old health worker has developed blood clots after getting her COVID vaccine. An elderly woman has died in what's believed to be South Australia's first case of fatal blood clotting caused by the AstraZeneca COVID vaccine. A Queensland man is in intensive care tonight, suffering a blood clot after receiving his AstraZeneca vaccine. He's one of five similar cases around the country. Six new cases of blood clots have been officially linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. Three more cases of blood clots have been linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine, including one case in an 80-year-old man. 53-year-old South Australian man is tonight gravely ill in intensive care after suffering a blood clot linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. In breaking news, a Central Coast woman has died after receiving a COVID vaccine. The head of the Therapeutic Goods Administration is calling for calm following the deaths of two people in our state who received the COVID vaccine. Concerns around the safety of the AstraZeneca vaccine have been realised here in Australia, with medical experts confirming the death of a Central Coast woman is likely linked to the jab. A major medical investigation is underway tonight over whether a local man suffered blood clots as a result of getting the Pfizer vaccine. Australians are being urged not to jump to conclusions over the death of a woman from blood clots after receiving the COVID vaccine. Tonight, Seven News can reveal another similar death is also being investigated. The authorities in Norway are investigating the deaths of at least 33 elderly Norwegians who received Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine. In the nation's medical regulator has revealed seven new cases of blood clots linked to the AstraZeneca vaccine. A Launceston family is pleading for help after after their teenage daughter fell ill after receiving the Pfizer vaccine. Faith Ranson has been in and out of hospital and suffers almost daily ticks after experiencing what a leading doctor admits was an adverse reaction to the vaccine. It's estimated 79,000 people have suffered adverse reactions to vaccines.